Hello, and thank you for coming back to another set of readings from Lotus Love Tarot 555. Thank you guys so much for your love and continued support of our channel and our Instagram. I just love you, and I just always want to begin our readings by saying that. Uh, for those who are joining us for the first time, welcome, and thank you for joining us. Now, we are going into a full moon in Scorpio on May 18th, okay? Now, this is going to be a very, very intense blue full moon, okay? Also called the flower moon. Also be mindful that there are four planets that are currently in Taurus as well. Uh, Venus is actually coming back home into, uh, into Taurus. And you have uh, Mercury, you have sun, the sun, and you also have Uranus that are all going to be in uh, Taurus as of tomorrow. And also be mindful that there are planets right now currently in retrograde. So we have a lot of intense um, emotions, a lot of intense, intense energy that is happening right now. And so how you can play into this is setting your full moon intentions. And for those who need to know how to do that, we have a video on it. And it's under our full moon reading playlist. But it's important that you use this energy to bring up any old emotions, anything that you need to purge out of your system to give you clarity, to, to clear it all out. Um, because if you don't, uh, trust me, the, the universe will push it out for you. So it's just very, very important that we use this energy to work on our behalf, okay? We need to make the energy work for us um, as opposed to against us. So what we're going to do today, we're just going to try to give you an idea of where you need to be focusing um, as you begin to set your full moon intentions, okay? For those that are joining us as cross watchers, welcome and thank you for joining us as well. Now you can apply this reading to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some even your, uh, your Venus sign. And do remember that the messages do flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner. Okay? All right. I love you guys so, so much. And now, on to your reading. Oh, um... Hello, my Aquarius. <laughs> I thought I would start right in with my reading. Hi there, my Aquarius. Okay, let's start right in with your reading as you begin to set your full moon intentions. And let me just state before I even begin that this reading is just to give you a brief um, look into the areas that you need to set your full moon intentions on. Okay, I don't know why this camera keeps moving by itself. Literally, it's been doing that all, all for my readings. It just starts moving. Uh, but let's just uh, keep going. And if you don't know how to set your full moon intentions, that can be found on our full moon reading playlist, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower moon occurring on, let's get one more, occurring on May 18th, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Holy Spirit, the of the universe, what messages do you put forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions on the blue flower moon occurring on May 18th, 2019? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? Okay. Holy Spirit, divine of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower moon occurring on May 18th, 2019. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know as they begin to set their intentions on the blue flower full moon occurring on May 18th, 2018. This card's that flip in the middle of the deck. I don't know why they always shock me. Holy Spirit, divine spirit of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Aquarius as they begin to set their intentions for the blue flower full moon occurring on May 18th. All right, it's moving right into the spot. <laughs> oh, it's two of them there. Wow. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. 
Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to be for, for the sign of Aquarius as we begin to set your intentions for the blue flower full moon occurring on May 18th, 2018. Okay, Spirits, I'm not playing with your cards. Those messages came right out. Codependency, Aquarius. Addictions are affect, affecting your relationship and it, excuse me, affecting your romantic life. And it does not mean, um, we talk about codependency, it does not mean always alcohol and drugs. It could mean that you're just too needy. You know, you're just too needy on somebody. You're, you're just, you're pining. That's an old person's word, I know. But you're pining over someone too much, okay? You're too dependent on help needing somebody to help you feel a certain way emotionally and it says you need to keep an open mind because your soul may may different from your usual type and expectations i feel like you're going after somebody you're not supposed to go after and the person you're supposed to be with is the person that you shut down mentally now for those that are in a relationship um it could be that you have done that you're with somebody that you know that you know was was very attractive to you as far as the look of them but in your spirit you know that's not where you're supposed to be you know that's who you're not supposed to be with okay um for some of you you're in a relationship uh if you, for some of you you may be who you're supposed to be with but you're too codependent on them i feel like we're talking to several different groups right now you're too codependent on them like anything that they do can set you off emotionally because you use them to make you feel good, which is not good, which is simply not good. So again, I feel like that's that's three three separate groups. And let me just go through them again. I feel like I need to go through them again. For those that are single, um, you are when you get in a relationship, you're codependent on people. So that's why spirit is saying, I'm going to bring this person to you, but it's not going to be your usual type. Uh, for some of you, you are codependent on somebody that you know you're sh you should not be with. And then there's another set that you're with who you're supposed to be with, but you use them to make you feel good. Everything they do uh, is a determining factor on how you feel, which should not be that way. And that's where that codependent behavior is coming from. Okay? And that's why Spirit is saying, watch your thoughts. Okay? It's important to only think about what you desire and not what you fear. I feel like you fear and feel like they're going to leave you. Okay? And consult an expert. More information is needed. Con contact someone with expertise in this area. For those of you who know specifically what Spirit is talking about when it's saying that. And it says, yes, your intuition is correct. So take action accordingly. So I'm thinking about this first situation here that you know exactly what you need to do. But you've been ignoring it. That's why your cards came out so quickly. Spirit's been trying to tell you this. Focus on your divine and perfect health. Again, this, to me, when I get this card, I always feel like people aren't eating right and it's affecting how you're thinking. You know, junk food, um, you know, fast food, just eating things that's not right for you. And so you need to really look at that. You need to focus on divine and perfect health. That means exercise. And that's, you'd be surprised how all of that, how you take care of your body, how it affects your mind. I cannot stress it enough, okay? Ask for what you want. Spirit said, well, you just talk to me. Just tell me what you want. I already know what you want and what you need, but I need for you to talk to me. Let the universe and other people know what you need, okay? Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. This is saying what, I'm, what I've been telling you earlier. You know, pretty much don't, stop being dependent on other people to make you feel good. You need to feel good for yourself. Express your own individuality. Make your own self feel happy. And then when you do that, romance will come. Romance will come. All right, my Aquarius, if you need to take this reading a little further, I do have private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, my loves, bye-bye. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Love you much. Bye-bye.